This is my Sony 90mm G lens and today I'm going to pair it with my Sony FX3 which I haven't done yet. So here is the footage in 3, 2, 1. Hi, so I wanted to test the 90mm G lens with the Sony FX3 and first I just wanted to test the lens because I've had this lens for a while. I used to use it for product photography and videography but I don't do that anymore so I wanted to sell the lens. I tried to sell it but there was like a little nick inside the lens. It wasn't my fault it's inside the lens so maybe some dust got in there i'm not too sure how it happened but there's a little bit of like either a nick or dust inside the lens so when i did try to sell it they didn't want to buy it because they said that the lens was ruined um even though clearly it doesn't affect the quality whatsoever it's just a nitpick i get it i understand it um you're spending a lot of money on the lens you want it to be perfect even though it is i said it was a used lens and it's it's all good though um i was able to get this test out of it and now i'm turning to maybe i should use this lens a little bit more because i actually am quite impressed with what came from 90 millimeter and a sony fx3 um it is a macro lens so it is a little bit more used for like i said product photography or getting those really nice detail shots but now even this talking head where it looks more like an interview shot, I am very impressed with what this is able to do because of the focal length of 90 millimeter. I'm able to get, you know, that compression and kind of melt the background, but also bring it closer, which is that weird thing that 90 millimeters can do. And also it pairs well with Sony FX3 because the Sony FX3 is a killer in low light. Like right now I have no light set up whatsoever. Um, I'm just using the available light that I have, which is just these patio lights and then this glass door. Um, just turn on the lights inside and it's creating kind of like the soft box for me. Put a towel on these patio lights so it's not directly hitting me in the face. And I just turn on that light back there just so there's some depth. It doesn't just look like dark, complete darkness back there. So there's no lights that I set up whatsoever. So maybe if this, this frame and you actually set up some some lights make it try to make it look good it'll be a beautiful shot and you can use this in a professional setting so this pairing is something i will hopefully look to now when i do an interview shot because i really enjoy how much depth this is giving me like the foreground things hitting the foreground just melt and disappear um if there was something closer to the lens you know it would just disappear that's why I, I was kind of shocked even though i let them know that there was some sort of dust in the front element um shocked that that was a deal breaker for the lens because when you're shooting a 90 millimeter at 2.8 you don't see anything that's in front of it like everything just disappears um and that's the beauty of 90 millimeter but that was the test that i wanted to do um it wasn't a super comprehensive test it was just something i wanted to do where i wanted to see Know what i can do with this pairing because i haven't used it i've kind of stuck to using um around 35 or 50 millimeters 70 would be, probably be the, the most i would get in my zoom lens um so 90 millimeter um f2.8 was a good test to see you know how it paired with this especially in low light like the shots i got over there was night it was nine o'clock ten o'clock so it was complete night um just using available light and it's crazy how good cameras have gone nowadays that you can get these beautiful shots in such a small package because um the 90 millimeter and fx3 there's it's still a relatively small package like compared to shooting like the sony fs7 or f55 you know those cameras are huge and these, this quality yeah it's not shooting raw or anything but 10 bit 422 with a 90 millimeter g lens i'll take that any any day over one of those cameras because it's just such a small package and you get a lot of power out of it and it looks good it's amazing like look at this it's 12,800 iso 10 o'clock at night no lights whatsoever and it looks pretty good like yes it's not the best image in the world but hey you, you this is usable definitely usable i mean i'm gonna I'm post this 
um, not too sure you know what I wanted to get out of this video but I hope um, you got something out of it because I just wanted to share um, this pairing and also maybe if you have some gear that you haven't really used in a while and and gear is expensive you should use it like this lens is not a cheap lens and I just kind of had it sitting there because I was gonna sell it didn't sell it so I kind of it was just sitting there um, so now I wanted to get something out of it and now I'm probably gonna get a lot out of it because I'm gonna be using it a lot more now so I suggest that if you have some gear just sitting there just maybe do a test maybe you'll be surprised with how good it actually serves you in your video creating needs so I hope you got something out of this video hope to see you in the next one thank you for watching Peace.